I'm Jessica Gartelli with your evening digital news brief for Monday, April 24th. Police say a shooter on a motorcycle brought traffic to a halt on I-95 along Penn's Landing. A line of officers walked in the northbound lanes looking for shell casings. According to Pennsylvania State Police, a driver said that someone shot at them several times near the Columbus Boulevard exit. This happened around 1.30 this afternoon. Officers were also seen looking around a gold minivan. No one was injured. Police are still looking for a black sport bike. A four alarm warehouse fire in Philadelphia's Wissanoming section is under control tonight. Dark plumes of smoke could be seen for miles this morning at the building on Dark Run Lane. Officials say the first crews arrived just before 9.45 a.m. and had the fire under control just after 11.15. One man was injured and taken to Torsdale Hospital where at last check he was in stable condition. A five-year-old was shot this morning in Philadelphia's Olney neighborhood. Police say it was an accident. It happened just before 9.30 in a home on the 200 block of Fisher Avenue. Police say the house was filled with people when a gun accidentally went off. Officers recovered a shotgun from the home but did not find the handgun from the shooting. It's still unclear who was handling that gun when it went off. Another Philadelphia school is being shut down after the discovery of damaged asbestos. The C.W. Henry School in West Mount Airy is shifting to virtual instruction for two weeks starting tomorrow. Henry becomes the fourth district school to be shut down within the last two months due to damaged asbestos. The hazardous material was discovered above ceiling tiles in a first floor hallway during an inspection on Friday. That's the latest for the Evening Digital Brief. I'm Jessica Cartalia.